Hello everyone and welcome back to one another interesting video. Now in the previous video where we discussed about what is packet substation, what are the components of that, I ask if you want me to make a dedicated video explaining the single line diagram of the package substation and many of you said yes to that and hence here is a dedicated video in which we are going to talk about this single line diagram of package substation. Now I'll strongly recommend if you haven't seen the previous video go and check that out because in that we are we, we talk about the basics of package substation what are the components of that what are the advantages and things like that are covered in that video here uh, we are going to discuss about this single line diagram in detail so let us start so let me zoom in a little here okay so first let us see the different parameter that is mentioned on the single line diagram which you can see mentioned here so this is basically a 21 kilo ampere system which is the short circuit rating here 21 kilo ampere and of course all the equipment that you will be using uh, within this package substation must be suitable for 21 kilo ampere now uh, unfortunately they have not mentioned whether it is for one second or three second but the timing must be mentioned there and then the rated current you can see it is mentioned as 630 ampere 11 kV is the rated voltage 50 hertz is uh, the frequency and wherever insulation is needed it is used it is achieved with the help of sf6 gas all right so that is uh, the technical parameter that are given for this substation now let us go and talk about the different components now if you notice uh, this complete section ex excluding uh, the transformer is basically a ring main unit and that we also discussed in the previous video that one of the part of the compact substation is having a ring main unit now if you don't know what is a ring main unit and why do we use it i have a dedicated playlist uh, in which i just talk about the ring main units you can uh, definitely go and check that out link is in the description so you can see here we have the incoming supply this is the cable termination point that we see and the cable that is being used is a 2 run 3 core 240 square mm aluminium xlp cable okay this is the cable entering into the incoming side of uh, the compact substation and connected to the incomer of the ring main unit and then you can see we have an earth fault indicator here so this is just an indicator which will give you an indication in case there is an earth fault now remember this is just an indicator okay this is not a relay and this is not capable of giving a command to circuit breaker to trip so this is just to give you an indication about the fault condition and specifically uh, the earth fault if there is earth fault happened then going next we you can see here we have the vpis system this is called as voltage presence indication system vpis this is very very important uh, in the medium voltage system because this will give you an indication there will be you know uh, three lights provided and that will basically tell if the supply is on there's so r y and b there will be dedicated uh, indication lamps given and if those lamps are on that means the voltage is present if those are off then voltage is not present and uh, you can be assured that the system is safe to operate for maintenance or any other purpose so for that purpose this voltage presence indication system is very very important but sometimes uh, the vpis system may not be very much reliable because it depends on the bulb and in case something goes wrong with the bulb then you may not get the correct indication and that's why uh, sometimes the voltage detection indication system is preferred over vpis which is referred as voltage detection indication system vdis now that is more robust and more reliable compared to the vpis system so uh, this is the purpose of this vpis system uh, very very important and then you can see next we have an earth switch which is used to ground the trap charges uh, of the incoming line uh, again uh, very important for the safety aspect the next you can see we have a load break switch which is rated for 630 ampere of course because the uh, rated current of the system is 630 ampere the load break switch must be uh, capable of carrying and breaking the 630 ampere now remember this is a load break switch now this load break switch is capable of carrying and also breaking the rated circuit current which is 630 ampere in this case 
but they are not capable of breaking any sort of short circuit current. I have talked about the load brake switch in detail in one of the video. I'll put link for it down in the description. You can go and check it out and also understand what is the difference between load brake switch, a disconnector and a circuit breaker. So videos link for those videos will be in the description. So this is our incoming supply. Now from here you can see the supply is going one to the circuit breaker end and also to the outgoing side. Now circuit breaker will come in few minutes. Let us first have a look at the outgoing line. So here also same thing we have a load brake switch of 630 ampere same as that of the incoming side. Same earthing switch is also used. Uh, VPI system is also used. You can see earth fault indicator is also there and the cable that we are using here is also same as that of the incoming. So a 3 core 240 square mm aluminum XLP cable and then the supply may go to a different system or different ring main unit uh, depending on the application. So you can see the incoming and outgoing sides are identical. And here you can see this block indicates that they are using a 24 volt DC power bank. Now why this is required? This is required to give the supply to the auxiliary equipments like the closing and tripping coil of the circuit breakers, uh, even the charging motors that we have. Now this is very very crucial. Uh, most of the time the DC is preferred as a control voltage because DC is more reliable compared to the AC. So that is this uh, block 24 volt DC power bank. Alright now let us go and have a look at the circuit breaker side. So here you can see we have used a vacuum circuit breaker 630 ampere is the rating and STC for that will be of course 21 kilo ampere. Now they have used a square as a symbol to indicate uh, the breaker which is okay because they have defined but generally if you see the symbol will for circuit breaker will be like this. So a cross will come and that will indicate the circuit breaker. So this is the VCB that we're using and this is connected to our transformer because of course we need a transformer protection. Transformer is one of the expensive equipment that we have. So that's why you see we can manage the incoming and outgoing with a load brake switch. But for transformer it is always good to have a VCB which is most reliable protection. In series with the circuit breaker we have used a off load brake switch. Now the nomenclature is not uh, very right here. They have mentioned off load brake switch. So basically a load brake, when we say a load brake switch is, it is basically a device which is capable of breaking the normal current. But when we say off load, then that means that even the rated normal current, it cannot break. So the right word for that would be a disconnector. Clear? So this is basically a disconnector that we are using in series with the breaker for isolation purpose because these are the breaker which is most of the time uh, will be fixed in nature and inside the SF6 tank because this is a SF6 insulated uh, uh, RMU. So to give uh, the isolation we are using a disconnector here. Clear? And then again we also have an earth switch here uh, for the safety purpose which will help uh, in grounding the trap charges. And then you can see we have used a protection current transformer here and the ratings are given below. So 50 ampere by 5 ampere is the rating. So 5 ampere is the secondary current that we have. 5 VA is the burden of the current transformer. And then the class of the current transformer is 5P10 which is a protection class. Now if you are not sure about what are these rating about current transformer I, I do have a dedicated master class on current transformer in which I go through each and every rating of the current transformer. Again, I'll put link for it down in the description. You can go and check it out. And from this uh, protection CT, you can see uh, via a relay, the input is given to the circuit breaker. So in case something wrong is noticed by this relay, uh, it will give command to the breaker to trip and thereby protecting the system that we have. So that is the function of a relay. And then you can see again uh, cable information is provided. It's a three run single core uh, 95 square mm aluminum 11 kV XLP uh, cable aluminum cable that we are using and that uh, input is given basically to this transformer that we have which will help us in stepping down the voltage. So you can see this is a dry type transformer 11 kV by 0 0.433 kV. And it's a rating is 500 kVA. 
and this is the transformer which is a delta star connected transformer so star connection is given to the secondary side from which we have taken out a ground point you can see it here this is the ground point and then there we have the metering current transformer again the ratings you can see 800 ampere by 5 ampere now 5 ampere is certainly not a good choice because it will have more i square r losses and it, it may cause increase in the burden so the preferred choice can be between 2 ampere or 1 ampere so this is a 5 uh, va is the burden and class is 1.0 which is the metering class again it's not very accurate the most accurate class of current transformer it 0.2 s again uh, if you want to understand about this parameter the link for the master class of current transformer is given in the description and uh, to this current transformer we have also connected a multifunction meter mff uh, sorry mfm so that is the multifunction meter that we have and that will give us a different indication whether the breaker is on off or it is stripped and it is also going to give us the indication about the supply between r y and b phase that we have so that is the multifunction meter and this is uh, basically the transformer section of the compact uh, substation so we saw the ring main unit section we saw now the transformer section now uh, we go and have a look at the low voltage system so the first thing that you notice is the ACB or air circuit breaker which is rated as 800 ampere which should be the uh, you know rated secondary current of this transformer because you can see the CT is selected for 800 amps and the breaker is also selected for 800 amps. Now this is the air circuit breaker which has higher capabilities to break the current than the other circuit breaker that we use in low voltage uh, switch gear. Now, if you are interested in learning about low voltage switchgear, I do have a dedicated courses uh, discussing on uh, the low voltage switchgear. Now the courses are really really helpful if you are someone who is looking to strengthen their knowledge or you want to go into the industry and learn about low voltage switchgear. These are the courses which will take you to the next level and believe me you will not get this information uh, in one single place except for these courses. So definitely go and check it out. Again, link for it is in the description. Now moving on to uh, our single line diagram here. So this is the ACB and we you can see we have this uh, 415 volt low voltage compartment here. And this is a bus bar basically. So 415 volt three phase, uh, 800 amps. I'm not sure what is this word here. Uh, 50 hertz, 21 kilo ampere for one second. So here they have mentioned uh, the time. And this is a bus bar that they are using. And you can see why this bus bar we have taken the different taps. Uh, so this is the MCCB molded case circuit breaker of 800 ampere. Uh, this is connected to let's say one load and we have 200 amp circuit breaker connected to a different load and 100 amps uh, circuit breaker connected to a different load. Uh, so there, there, there can be possibility multiple variants of uh, this is possible. Maybe you can have four output. Maybe you can have five output depending on uh, uh, the compact substation that you are going with and your application clear and the cable details are also given here which you can see on the screen so that is the single line diagram of uh, the package substation a package substation is really versatile tool and uh, it can be suitable for the extreme weather conditions also which uh, we already talked in the previous video so I hope uh, you found this video helpful and you got some information via this. If it was helpful, then do like the video uh, and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing uh, this single line diagram. If you are interested to learn more about the medium voltage switch gear, I have a dedicated playlist on that. Uh, I'll put link for it down in the description. You can go and check it out. So thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.